Hi ma, my name is Is Angelo A. Liberal from BSE 2 AE. And now, for top, our topic for today is Foundation of a Curriculum. Now, first, what is the meaning of foundation in curriculum development? According to the researchgate.net, foundation are the process that influence the minds of curriculum developers, which affect the content and structure of the curriculum. These forces are beliefs and orientation as well as conception of learning and the needs of society. Foundation of curriculum is rooted with the foundation of education. And according to our module, there are different types of foundation that can affect or influence the development of said curriculum that we'll discuss by my partner, Auri. Thank you for that wonderful introduction, Is. Now, I will discuss the different types of foundation that can affect and influence the development of curriculum. There are four major foundations found in the curriculum. First is philosophical, then historical, next is psychological, and lastly social. We're gonna discuss the philosophy in the curriculum. It answers the questions of what are the schools for, what subjects are important, how should students learn, what methods should be used, and what outcomes should be achieved and why. Four major educational philosophies are namely perennialism, essentialism, progressivism, and reconstructionism. Next is historical foundations. Historical foundations in the curriculum answers the questions of where is the curriculum development coming from. The historical foundation will show us the chronological development along a timeline. Reading materials would tell us that curriculum development started when Franklin Bobbitt the book the curriculum. There are many great minds like Franklin Bobbitt, Ray Charters, William Kilpatrick, Harold Drug, Hollis Caswell, Ralph Tyler, Hilda Taba, Peter Oliva that contributed in the in the development of the curriculum. You can read their contributions in our in our provided module. Next is psychological foundations. Psychology provides a basis to understand the teaching and learning process. It unifies the elements of learning process. Questions which can be addressed by psychological foundations of education are how should curriculum be organized to enhance learning? What optimal level of students' participation in learning the various contents of the curriculum? You may know some of the contributors such as Ivan Pavlov, Edward Thorndike, Robert Gagne, John Piaget, Lev Vygotsky, Howard Gardner, and Daniel Coleman. Last and definitely not the least is social foundation. Social foundations in the curriculum includes issues from the society including groups and institutions in the culture and their contributions in education and it refers to issues from society that have an influence in curriculum there are many aspects in the society that need consideration in curriculum making or development these issues include changes occurring in societal structures transmission of culture social problems as issues for curriculum, and also economical issues. Now, to summarize, the foundation upon which curriculum is based are educational philosophies, historical developments, psychological explanations, and societal influences. All of these foundations are interrelated each other and that can affect the development of the curriculum. We really hope that we have piqued your interest for more information about our lesson. With our module, the lesson is located at module 2, page 15 to 23. Classmates, that's all for today. I hope we previewed our lesson well and you have learned something from it. You can read our provided module for more clarifications from this topic.